Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the infamous Hockey Wraparound. This thing's been doing its rounds all over Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, so we thought it'd be a great idea to get some in, take a look at it so we could give you some feedback on what it is, what it does, and what we think about it here at Hockey Tutorial. So for anyone that doesn't know, the Hockey Wraparound is an off-ice stick protector that protects the bottom of your stick's blade, so you can use it on any rough surface without having to worry about it getting chewed up and damaged. Your next question is probably going to be wondering if this thing's going to fit your hockey stick. So far I've tried this thing on a selection of different sticks, including a left-handed and a right-handed, an intermediate, a senior, and a couple of different sort of shaped toes, including a square toe and a rounded toe with a couple of different curves as well. This thing's managed to wrap around all of those different ones without any issues, so I've been pretty impressed with the way this thing contours and wraps to the shape of a stick's blade. So if you're wondering what parts of your game the Hockey Wraparound is going to let you work on off the ice and on any rough surface, it's going to include things like stick handling and basic shooting. Some of the things that we've been using this thing for is a couple of pickup games in the park, using our sticks on rough surfaces just like the one that we're on right now, but because of the Wraparound we've not had to worry about damaging our brand new shiny APX2 sticks and scraping up the bottom of the stick blade. So the Wraparound is going to be great for anyone that wants to practice their stick handling and basic shooting. In terms of basic shooting, I'm talking about things like wrist shots and maybe a couple of snap shots. If you're going to be using this thing to churn out some clappers and slap shots, you're going to chew through the lifespan of this thing much, much quicker than you'd expect. From what I've gathered, this thing seems to have been designed for stick handling and basic shooting. So slap shots, you can do it, but you need to keep in mind that you're going to really chew into the lifespan. Some of the things that I've really had a lot of fun with using the wraparound with has been things like the green biscuits, the sweet hands, X deviators, anything that you can use to practice your stick handling off the ice with a green biscuit, perfect partnership to go with one of these, you're going to have a lot of fun with because you're now no longer restricted to using a shooting pad. I've been using a shooting pad for a long time, they're great fun because you can practice your slap shots and you can do a bit of stick handling on them, but the problem is you're limited to that space. With the wraparound you can use as big of a space as you like. I'm in a fairly big area right now and I can practice my stick handling and also deeks and passes throughout this entire space without having to worry about ruining my stick blade. So taking a look at some of the things that I really really love about the wraparound. One of them is going to be the fact that it makes hockey so much easier to play and practice. A lot of countries in the world only have ice during the winter times but when we're in summer like right now and the sun's beaming outside and you want to go outside and play some puck you use a green biscuit, which is a great product, but the issue with green biscuit, the Swedish stick handling balls, golf balls or tennis balls that you use for stick handling, is that you ruin the bottom of your stick blade. The fact that you can attach one of these to the bottom of your stick blade and train anywhere, like the space that I'm in right now, without having to worry about ruining your stick, is going to be fantastic and one of the reasons that I really like this product. Another thing that I really loved about the wraparound was the fact that it's nice and simple when you buy it. You don't have to know what curve you have, you don't have to worry about a left-handed or a right-handed stick. You just pick up whichever one is yours, if it's a senior, junior or an intermediate, and it fits your stick perfectly, which is going to be something that I really love about these things. So of course no product is without its disadvantages. Some of the things that I wasn't too keen on about the wraparound is that when it's attached onto your hockey stick, it's really strong, durable and doesn't bend or anything when it's on the stick. But when it comes time for you to step onto the ice, really important point, this is not for on-ice use, so don't be taking these out on the ice with you. But when you uh, take it off your stick to go onto the ice, it's, can, it can bend much, much easier when it's not on the stick. A quick tip is that these things are shipped in tubes that have an end and also have a lid. Don't throw these away when you get these in the post. Keep the tube and then pop the wraparound back inside the tube when you're finished using it. It keeps it protected and then you don't have to worry about destroying it inside your kit bag. Because if it gets tangled inside your kit bag, your skates go on top of it, it's going to get bent, it's going to get destroyed. So make sure you keep these, pop it back inside here. So now that I've got the wraparound on my stick, you can see I've got it fully taped up. I didn't tape it up in portions. I find that this adds much more stability to the wraparound and also gives you much more control while you're stick handling with pucks or balls. The fact that I just taped my stick up reminded me about another point that I wasn't too keen on about the wraparound. When you're on the ice, this thing has to come off, so it means that you have to untape your stick, and when you go back to training off the ice, you have to tape your stick up again. This means that you're going to be using a lot more tape than you normally would, but on the flip side, I'd rather have to stock up on a little bit more tape than have to worry about ruining my expensive stick because I've been training off the ice. So the advantages of the wraparound still far outweigh the negatives, which makes this one of my favourite training aids to use because of how much space it gives me to be able to stick handle. It's pretty much limitless, and the fact that my stick is going to be nice and protected while I'm training wherever I want to. One of the other things I wasn't too keen on was when you're removing the wraparound from your stick, you need to be careful. You can't just rip this thing off or you will bend it and warp it, making it much, much harder to use it. When you're taking it off the stick, you need to remove all of the tape very carefully. If you just rip the tape off, the fingers or the, um, I'm going to call them teeth, of the hockey wraparound that stick onto the sides will get bent out of shape. So it's important that you take the tape off nice and carefully and slowly before you remove the wraparound. And again, remove it nice and slowly to make sure it doesn't bend. It's also important to talk about what this thing feels like on the end of your stick blade. 
Because it's made out of metal, it's definitely going to add some weight onto the end of your blade. But because this thing's only 40 grams, it's not a massive amount of weight that it adds onto the end of your stick. But you do notice it. As soon as you strap this thing on, your stick is going to feel slightly blade heavy, especially if you have a very well balanced stick like the uh, Reka EK15 from Sherwood. But it, it's a case of just being able to stick handle for about 5 or 10 minutes on whatever surface that you're training on. And then you forget this thing's there. You quickly adjust to the weight so it's not a massive thing that holds you back while you're off ice um, practicing with one of these things. I'm sure you were wondering how long the wraparound lasts before this thing falls apart. This particular one over here, I've had it for about three months. I've been using it for the majority of the time for stick handling with a couple of wrist shots as well thrown in there. And this one's been holding up just fine, still protects my stick perfectly. Um, if you're wondering how long it's going to last, that's like almost asking how long your tyres on your car are going to last. It depends on how hard you use them. If you use them very hard, you're going to shorten how long they last. If you use them moderately, then they'll last a decent amount of time. But so far, so good. Three months and still going strong. Overall, I've been using the hockey wrap around for a couple of months, and I've only been able to come up with two or three things that I wasn't too keen on. It's one of those things that makes you wonder why something like this wasn't invented much, much sooner, because it's something that hockey players really, really need. It also means that you're not going to be shelling out loads of money to replace stick blades because they've been chewed up on the ground. So I've just finished a bit of fun using uh, the wrap rounds with some green biscuits. Earlier on in the video, I was using an Oxalo uh, one-piece composite stick, and then I switched to my Sherwood Wrecker EK15. Both brand new wrap rounds. You can see that the bottom is completely uh, chewed up. Um, the tape's holding on fine because the, the way it looks like it works is that the bottom of the wraparound gets worn away, the tape gets worn away on the bottom, but the tape on the sides keeps the wraparound fixed to your stick, that's why you need to tape it up completely. More stability, and this is exactly how you can see that. So let's go ahead and get the tape off and see what it looks like. Tape comes off, wraparound pops off nice and easily, stick blade, completely fine, good to go again. This thing's awesome.